One, two, three. Hello in YouTube land. Armando here with a shaky camera. I'm trying to get this thing adjusted. Damn it. Stay still. It's this tripod. It's uh, it's from the dollar store. All right, it's working. Ooh, hooray for Dollar Tree. <laughs> for their $1 tripod. Yeah, um, today, folks, I have something to show you. I was at my local Toys R Us, and it turns out that they price match. Just as long as a competitor has the item in stock, whether it's on their website or a local store, they will price match for you at Toys R Us. So I said, what about Walmart.com? You know, they have that site-to-store shipping. Because I was going to buy some more uh, Titan Heroes from uh, the Avengers line, you know. And uh, I had put them in my cart, and then I waited to get some money, and then I was going to pay for my cart. Well, it turns out, like, three of the items that I wanted were sold out because they were a good price. But one of the items was still available, and it was uh, basically on sale. Anyway, I... Uh, I bought a bunch of Avengers, and they, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he, he can only do two transact uh, for one transaction. You can do two, uh, uh, whatever uh, price matching deals. So they can price match two items per transaction. Is that clear? So, like, if an item's like twenty one ninety nine at the store at Toys R Us, and Walmart.com, Walmart.com is for like nine eighty seven. You're going to get it for nine eighty seven, and then you can do the same for another item. Anyway, uh, I won't show you those yet, but I will show you what I found today. And here she is here. Da, 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 da. Yes, folks, it's Titan Heroes Gamora. Uh, you see her right there? Now, uh, I don't know if this is a new sculpt, if they're using the Black Widow sculpt. With modifications, I'm not sure. But uh, the face looks different. And uh, I don't know. Uh, we're going to have to get her out of her prison. But the artwork is from the cartoon, which is an awesome cartoon. Oh, thank you, Java Update available. Thank you, Windows 10. Cortana. All right. On the package, you can get Groot, Rocket Raccoon. Same one from the original release, and Star-Lord, which is a new sculpt. I didn't buy the first Star-Lord, and I can still get him, but he's kind of lame, and I don't want to pay $13. So I'm not going to get the lame one, but I did get the, the new good one, better sculpt. Anyway, it says, Arm with fierce combat skills, Gamora joins the good guys in the battle for intergalactic justice. See, she's got a sword. And then more artwork over on the side. And it says Guardians. And, uh, oh, look at that. See that? Let's see if I can wait for it to clear up. Focus, damn you, focus. You know, that bug died in there and it never came out. So, yes, there's a bug in the camera, folks. Uh, all right, let me see. Oh, hold on. Let's see if I can do this better. Okay. Uh, is it going to clear up? Is it going to clear up? Is it clearing up? There you go. Look, three sad onions. Why, why onions are you sad? Oh, look, my, my, my nail looks yellow. I must have hepatitis. It's not, it's mustard. <laughs> it's not hepatitis. Anyway, why, why onions are you sad? Shout out to Stuart Ashes across the pond. Hello, Stuart. Happy 2017. Well, let's free Gamora from her prison. Oh, yes, Groot is available at Toys R Us as an exclusive, along with Rocket Raccoon together. Uh, standalone Groot's not available. Now, the important announcement for this is that around Christmas time, October, November, you're going to see this as a, a big set at uh, Target. 
You're going to get Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax the Destroyer, Groot. All in one box. And Groot, yes, is going to be the size of Chewbacca. Only at Target. Kind of like K2SO. You can only get him in that big box. You can't get him anywhere else. Which sucks. I kind of wanted a standalone K2SO, but sadly Hasbro did not deliver. Please release a K2SO standalone so I can buy it to complete my collection. I don't want to buy that $50 set just for the robot. Oh, well. Let's uh, break her out of her prison. This calls for specialist equipment. Yes, folks, look, it's the box cutter of freedom. Yes, the box cutter of freedom to the rescue. Look how rusty it is. Look at that. Wow. Imagine getting cut with this. You get all kinds of tetanus. Tetanus shot to the rescue. All right. Well, uh, let's zoom up here. Let me see. How are we going to do this? And we'll do it like that. Okay. It's got cello tape here. Cut that. Cut this here. And cut this here. Actually, there wasn't nothing there. It was just an empty space, but I'm used to the movement. So, you know, there's a 12-inch revival here. Hasbro knows it. They're big sellers. They can bring back a 12-inch G.I. Joe. They just don't want to. They're saying that the era of the 12-inch G.I. Joe has gone away. They're crazy. They have these focus groups where the kids don't know what they want. And then they're like, nah. But they love these, so they could just release some G.I. Joes with better articulation for 10 bucks and 12 inches, and we're set. All right, let's follow the package down. Let's follow the package down. All right, look, Gamora's lying down here. Okay, it looks, looks like she's got something here. I think that goes to her side. And there's a sword. Oh, very cool. Um, let's use the craft scissors of freedom. Look, the craft scissors of freedom. Okay, snap, snip, snip, and snap. All right, she's free. Okay, we'll move this out of the way. We'll put that right there. We'll put this over here. Uh, throw that up there. All right, back to standard position. Okay, here we go. All right, basic articulation, no ball-jointed shoulders. They should have done that. No ball-jointed uh, hips like Wonder Woman. They should have done that. And that thing, uh, let me see. According to the artwork, it's on her left hip? No, right hip. Like that. I guess, with a guardian symbol. No, they have her like that with it, like right there. Kind of weird. Weird belt. I don't know. Let's see. Anyway, this is Gamora. Nope. They want you to have it like that. All right, we'll leave her like that. Anyway. She can do this movement like this. She can sit like that. Her neck turns pretty good. It's gonna need a little armor all. But it's okay. It turns pretty good. Look, Let's get it going there. I mean, it's brand new from the factory. This is a very nice figure. Anyway. Put this sword here. Yeah, it's like that. I wish they'd give her ball jointed shoulders like Wonder Woman, but they didn't. It's actually a very nice figure. Look at this sculpt. Uh, I think they uh, made a whole new sculpt for her. I want to say she's like... Uh, 
Black Widow with different legs, but it's the same Black Widow body. All they did was repaint the the paint job. So yeah, they're reusing the Black Widow body. All right, let's check her out. Let's straighten her up. Okay, there's Gamora. Okay, here we go. Thumbnail, Gamora. Thumbnail. Let me see. This is just the light in here. There she is. Purple hair. She looks pretty nice. All right, folks. Ten minutes in. That's Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. Available at Toys R Us at the moment. I have not seen these at Walmart or uh, Target, but I'm pretty sure they'll pop up eventually at Walmart at some point. Maybe cheaper. But they will price match. But they're not on the website. So everybody's like, you know. Here's the problem. You know, with um, renegotiating trade trade deals with China, it might affect the toys. Because we get a lot of stuff, a lot of our toys from China. Because nothing is manufactured in the U.S. anymore. And I'm hoping that Hasbro will take a cue and uh, start manufacturing toys here in the U.S. again. The factories lie dormant and vacant there in, in Rhode Island. And there's no reason they can't bring back manufacturing of toys in the U.S. It might cost a little bit more, but it's still, it'll still be U.S. quality, U.S. made, quality controlled, and uh, built with pride. You know? G.I. Joe was made in the U.S., so, hey... Get a grip, Hasbro guys. Bring back manufacturing of toys to the U.S. It would be awesome. You know what I mean? You can do it with all these 3D printers and molding techniques and everything that's so advanced now. Shouldn't be a big deal. I'm sure, you can make excuses. Setting up infrastructure. Molding machines and stuff, but it would be peanuts compared to the profits. And once again, it would be USA made. It won't say Fabrique in China. It will say made in the U.S. of A. Just like the little army men from Amazon.com. Um, <laughs> what, what are those? Uh, they're uh, Timmy? Timmy army men. Yeah, those are USA made. All right, 13 minutes in, I'm just rambling on. But yeah, bring back the manufacturing of these cool figures to the U.S. They can do it. And that's some articulation, for God's sakes. I mean, if Mattel can do it to Wonder Woman, look, ball joint here, ball joint there. Swivel hinge joint there. They could do it to Gamora. Alright folks, if you like videos like this, hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, tell me off, leave a comment below, leave hate mail, death threats, whatever you want, sky's the limit, <laughs> I welcome it all, and uh, have a wonderful day, and uh, hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you in the next video, this is Armando signing off, have a good one.